Hello and welcome to part four of Hand of Fate. The more, you play, the more I wonder. Yes, indeed. Back to the story mode we go. So we got Jack of Scales. Sounds like lizardmen to me. Curses, heavy arrows, in combat projectiles travel at half their usual speed, but inflict twice the damage. That's probably all right. Cooldown times for weapons and artifacts are doubled. That sucks. The suit of scales are represented by these lizard men. Quiet, patient, lethally right. subtle, and coldly intelligent. See what we got. Of all the creatures I have incarnated yeah, as we suits, got a sword? these please me the most. Yeah, we got a lot of things actually. All right, I think we'll get rid of shield. Uh, let's see. I've yet to even use this, so I'm gonna get rid of it. Let's try feathered ice. That sounds cool. Ring of justice. I didn't like the idea of that. Ring of poverty. No idea what that is. Mage glove. Sure. Mage mask. Some fool's gold. All right, we need one more thing to complete our deck here. Let's get that sword. Perfect. That looks beautiful. Encounters, okay. A lot of these I haven't actually seen yet. Local peasant, I can get rid of that. I mean, obviously you want some of them. Certain ones are good. But, I like to see new ones. Just because. Heroes remains, that sounds good. Crucible, get rid of that fucking crucible. Stranger in Shadow, sure. Giant Eagle, I did not like the results of my Giant Eagle experience. Load. Yeah. Oh, I was gonna say let's take out Ratman hunting, but I can't. <laughs> I, if only I could. Fields of Poppies, Desert Cults, Wife's Fury, Charity, Cursed Treasure. Probably don't want curse treasure. I don't like curses. Alright. That looks good. Let's do this. You have taken one of my symbols, but now we begin to play in earnest. My scepter is at stake, and I do not intend to lose it. So, he doesn't know when to lose his scepter. I can't blame him. Look at it. It's beautiful. Scales. I have saved the lizard men for now, but the stakes have been raised. There is no mm. weapon I will not use against you. No, I mean you can hold back if you like. That's that's fine. Just a canyon. Well, we've seen this many times. Let's get that weapon. Hopefully without breaking our neck in the process. A choice. Select your desire. Nice. Draw a weapon card. Oh, excellent weapon! I like this weapon a lot. Yes, I want to do sure that. The right approach. Don't question me, sir. What am I doing? You might think the world hmm. the cards is grim. Normally, I would ask darkness, for supplies. I think I'm gonna ask to for gold. Found. Draw three gold gain cards. I'm sure you are grateful for that. Last map it had a negative money per combat thing, but now I don't have that. I think gold would be useful. Goblins. Well, they want to steal my gold. Goblins along with two lizard men. Okay. So I gotta focus these goblins first. I stole 20 gold. I need to get it back. Oh, they took my weapon. Not cool. Took my weapon. Starting with a shield is quite nice. That will get the ability or whatever. Alright. Don't want him taking off my weapon, that's what I'm here. Uh-oh. Alright, let's 
assuming I got my weapon back. Let's get all our gold here. Shot this lizard man. Cool. Alright, let's make sure our weapon is equipped here. Yep. Good. Ladder escape. You must first descend down a ladder into the unknown. That sounds sounds fine. I love doing your calls. I appreciate your efforts. Ladders. I worked hard on this game. It is a pleasure to see you play. A ship at dock is worth nothing until it sails. Wow, this guy is deep. Mr. Lionel. All right. Ask him what he needs. Four gold game cards. Holy shit. Well, if we ever find a store, we are going to be set. Desert Colt. Nothing speaks truth like blood. That doesn't sound good. In a forgotten desert temple, you stumble upon a cult performing a summoning. The cult leader, standing before an ancient altar, demands a blood sacrifice from you. Yeah, sure. Why not? <laughs> what could go wrong with... Uh, my max health is decreased. 20 less max health. I get a... Very nice indeed. Whenever the player eats food, they gain twice the usual healing. So, that's not bad. And I gain Chains of Rage. Yes. The token is yours. I think that was worth 20 extra what life. You do with your new found Hopefully. Abilities. Well, I was going to say that now, but I'll probably need that life later. Draw two monster cards. Nah, it's just a bunch of bandits. Bandits, schmandits, am I right? Let's do this. Oh, so cool. Oh, I don't have a shield. Didn't I have a shield? I can't see you in the counter. I just have to be careful. Wow, real nice. So I need to see if I have a shield and equip it. I swear I had one. I'm not sure where it would have went. Among the bodies, find a scrap of parchment with the description of you. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Where is my damn shield? I don't have a shield anymore. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, good. Call is gold. I don't think I've been to a store with so much money. They are open for business. I hear a dog in the background. Ring of survival. Every every third combat, the player receives 20 health. That's not bad. Heals ring whenever player receives healing. Tool used by cool. those who made life better for others. That could now be good. In your hands. Such Feathered a ice. During combat, press two to create a blast of freezing ice center around the adventurer. That sounds cool. I might get that. When this ring is sold, all the player's gold is lost, but the player receives plus one max health for every five gold lost as a result of this holy shit. I could get so much life. I think I might do that. I think I might just buy the other thing, buy some food, and then do this. What can you do with that? That'd be interesting. Alright. So I think we'll benefit definitely from this. I could do without the buzzard ice, I think. Let's put some food. 
Alright. Now, let's sell that ring. Also sell this axe. Are you a woodsman turned warrior now? Max health plus 20. So I got the health I lost back by doing that. I think that's good. Got a fair amount of gold, or not gold, food. Got some food, got some alright gear. I, I feel alright with that. Battle of Brooklyn. These places are rife with power. It is not chance that you should meet a warlock here. Hmm. Warlock. A light draws you to a nearby hilltop where you see a warlock disappear into a cloud of sulfur, leaving behind his summoned minions. Fuck, it's attack. I'm not scared of no warlock minions. Chill out. Oh, that's right, I don't have a shield. I really wish I had a shield. I do like this sword, though, a lot. Looks cool as shit. So each time I heal, I'll gain gold, huh? Oh, nice. Look how much food I have now. Holy cow. I'm sure you are grateful for that. Indeed. And a token. Stairs to the next zone. downwards, if you dare. I do. What brings you to play the game? Ha. I know you will not tell me. Like all the rest, you are silent. Yes. Uh, while crossing the ancient rope bridge of the Dead Man's Gorge, you hear the sounds of movement. It's an ambush. Scales. No problem. It's just two. Two lizard man. Nothing I haven't fought before. Oh, they breathe fire. That's new. Ooh, not a fan of that. He's not a fan of my sword. It almost looks like a bird. Draw three game cards. Inspect and put back. What does that mean? Uh. Okay. Oh, I get to choose one. Mercenary contract is amazing. I love this thing. And some food. All right. Ratman hunting. I really need a shield. Mr. Lionel, I need a shield. Alright, this should be good. Let's do this. Two gold. Not bad at all. And we saw there's a tinker, traveling tinker up there. Find nothing. That sucks. Ratman of crap. Sleep at the what inn. What sort of scoundrel would go through a sleeping man's belongings? Oh, no. While sleeping in an inn, you jolt awake to find a bandit rushing through your belongings. You're quick to your feet, weapon already in hand. Bandit laughs, clearly drunk. Easy there, princess. Spare an apple, would you? There's a good lad. He stands unsteadily, clutching a stolen apple and some coins. You grab his arm in protest and earn it punched in the face. Look like Nancy here wants to fight, the bandit laughs again, spits at your feet and turns to leave. Uh, with one precise swing you execute him, a surprise gasp is the last sound he makes. Suddenly the room fills with bandits lackeys. Can't let him get away with my apple. It's my apple. 
his lackeys. I actually do this. Not that. I meant this. I also get paid for my work. Well, they made quite a bit of gold. Just all fighting. Where's the Serenity Contract is so good. Thieves dealt with, you accidentally wipe your brow with a hand slick with the blood that was run down with your weapon. Okay. You turn hoping to find a wash basin and find yourself once again in the presence of a ghost from the forest. Its eyes so familiar, so real compared to this shifting body look at you in fear. You took their life so easily. Are you already lost? Remember who you are, who you were. I have lingered too long in this place. It drains so. Do not forget me. You blink and the ghost is gone. Those eyes gone. Weird. Nobly mind, or simply noble by birth. A nobleman approaches on a chariot as he walked in the streets of Steigel. He peer he notices you and comes to a stop. You there, peasant. I wish to purchase your armor as a gift for my nephew. He is a similar build and enjoys a good scuffle on occasion. Oh I really like my armor guy. Ah, shit. I have a bad feeling about declining. Disappointingly, but my own fault, I suppose. We're expecting to find a business-savvy peasant. Hmm? He rides away. Alright. So I didn't... Oh, I didn't get the token because I didn't sell my armor. Ah, that sucks. Alright. There's a tinkerer, at least. And I have 79 gold. Not too bad. See what we can manage to get in this place. We don't need food. We have tons of food. Fortitude's breath. Every third encounter does not consume food. Press right mouse button to shield bash a target, stunning it. Ooh. Just two things. Oh, it's a shield. Oh. Consuming shame. All weapons axe. Yeah. Definitely want Fortitude's breath. I need a shield, and that sounds a shield good. Shield for the marathon, not the sprint. Do I have a he I eh. You think that will help you? Yes. I do. I'm pretty sure something that doubles my healing probably will help me. Alright, inventory we go. So that's that's our weapon. Uh yeah, I didn't want to sell Jane's Rage, it's probably the best thing I could have done. I would have had no armor left. I got three mercenary contracts left. We're doing good. Cave mouth. Next step of your journey takes you for, from a cave out to the feet of an imposing forest. Exit the cave. Did you expect me to tell your fortune? No. A fortune teller is at their most base and despicable when they begin to believe their own lies. Of course, right, lost in the desert. I am different. My powers are genuine. You find yourself lost and alone in the desert. Wandering and sleep pretty the old gods. Last time I got a success, this probably odds are not in my favor here. Oh god. Okay. Your prayers go unanswered and you are shot by an arrow. Looking up you see bandits approaching. Two monster cards, that's fine. There's ten health. Eh. I can deal with that. I have a new shield now. That's cool. Oh yeah, I probably should use this. I do like money.
back up to 39 gold. Pretty sweet. You salvage what you can and make your way out of the desert. Well, we're definitely not low on food, that's for damn sure. Old Old hammer. Reliable rears his ugly head again. I think I'm gonna keep frostbang on. The other one's really slow. You I do like the frost. The root of all troubles. Hmm. I will happily wager on the outcome. I do not think you have what it takes. In a busy market town, you're approached by a shopkeeper on the verge of losing his store. If you lend me the gold I need to save my store, I will pay you one day with my interest. It's not much. Shopkeeper is gratefully set your gold. You won't regret this. After ten Many steps, the player draws three gold cards. Too good for the likes of you. Nice. Is there even ten steps left? Hard to say. Traveling healer. Uh, I'll take a look, but I don't think I need anything. Unless I can buy a blessing, possibly. I can remove a curse. Cooldown types of weapons and artifacts are double. Oh, 400 gold. No thanks. I think we're good. Alright, next card. Strangers in the Shadows. Aha! The Count enters the picture. Hmm. On a dark moonless night down a lonely road, you encounter a hooded stranger. Greetings, friend. I am in need of some sustenance. Would you be willing to offer some of your vigor in exchange for gold? He asks, taking out a bag of coins. I accept. The stranger moves in with a natural speed to grasp you firmly and bite at your throat. After a few seconds, he releases you. Thank you, he says, handing you some gold as you regain your composure. I am not yet sated. Would you like to earn more gold? Yeah, sure. After the stranger moves, Bite my throat. Thank you. Handing you some gold. Mortal, you seem unusually willing to give up your blood for material gain. The stranger does not... The stranger goes on to tell you of a tale of secret blood auctions and where they may be found. This card's token is now yours. Cool. So I just donated blood for money. Okay. And I healed up. Because of my sweet Every hat. Every game must have both winners and losers. Without them, it degenerates All into right. nothingness. Let's give the priest some food. Let's give him ten food. Plenty of food to spare here. Oh, I almost got the failure. Yeah. Blessing card. On any hit, the player inflicts two more damage for each blessing they have. All right, sweet. Let's go this way. Heroes are mean. So often, this is how the story ends, is it not? The hero tries, the hero dies. Their memory is celebrated, but they are lost. Hmm. You pass a funeral. It's obvious from the size of the procession that the deceased was well-loved figure. You're approached by the cleric. This great hero fell defending our beloved town of Wandermere. His sword and shield are powerful artifacts, but must be returned to his hometown for the proper burial rites to be completed. What will you do? Will you do this, traveler? I will take the hero's belongings. Thank you. This will mean a word to his family. The town would not have revolted. The town would have revolted had those artifacts not been returned. It's not far from the hero's hometown. Look for the town cleric when you get there. Viking blade. Plus Such one an trigger elegant rage. use of rage and anger. You wouldn't expect it of the barbarian hordes. That sounds cool. As pleases you. It's good enough for a hero, it's good enough for me. Pain. Uh is it better? Damage increases you up combo tiers. I don't think we're going to equip it. And hurry, it's not wise to anger the spirits of the dead by delaying their proper rights. At five death players is fifty percent. Let us health. see how you progress with that millstone around your neck. What? Of course, you can remove your curses at shops if you can find them. 
Still, oh my I'm god, to see how you handle your disadvantages. Okay, let's go. Up. Let's go return the stuff. <laughs> I don't like the idea of losing 50% health. Look, look deeply. This is the fate of heroes. You reach Wandermere, hometown of the dead adventurer. The town cleric meets you at the gate. He appears to have been standing vigil. Return the hero's sword. Thank you. This blade will once again be wielded in righteous fury. You also have the shield. Return the shield. Truly, you have done the Almighty's work in returning the shield. Thank you. Blessed are those Buster who protected can fell these trespasses against us. At the beginning of every battle, the Vogus throw on thunderbolts on one of your enemies. Nerve the player I uses artifacts. There's thirty percent chance of immediately reducing the cooldown that rate. Next time. Ooh. My God, that was worth it. All right, let's make sure our weapon is. Uh, yeah, not using the right weapon. I want to use frostfang. That was, that was good. I think we made the right decision of not keeping the stuff. And I gained 15 gold for some... Ah, because I moved 10 steps. Draw 3 gold cards. Excellent. Alright, descend in the ladder into the unknown. Sure. The lizard men are nothing if not patient. He waits for you. So this might be the last uh, area. Nice, we have a shop. We just gained a ton of gold. Good timing. Let's see what cool stuff we can buy here. Desperate measures, eh. Life slim. Each eh, no, it's mine. Press one to inflict a curse weakening and curse of weakening on enemies close to you. Strike of a cursed enemy for bonus damage. This also removes the curse. It's it's not bad. Healing cap. Oh no, fool's gold. That's what I have. On every weapon ability usage, all bandits are stunned for three seconds. Every bandit killed nets the player two gold. What is that? Is it a helmet? Fire in its multitudinous forms, we still hold it in esteem and wonder. Equipment this trait burns with the flame of the ancients doing extra fire damage. However, lava golems will shrug off fire attacks with these. Hmm. That sounds pretty cool, doesn't it? Let's try it. Ah. Uh. A quick flash of gold, hmm. and the bandits will yeah. forget themselves. Let's get that too. All right, let's buy some food. I think that's good. All right, let's get out of here. Nope, oh, wrong button. All right, we're on the final stretch. So we got tons of blessings, chains of rage, fool's gold. I think it's better for instead of the healing cap for now. Still got a mercenary contract, I forgot about that. And we're using Scorching Zeo, which sounds really cool. Helpful priest. He's gonna want some of my food, isn't he? Damn it. Could have declined, but you know, whatever. I do more damage for each blessing I get, so more blessings the better. Plus I don't think there's nine very nice cards left. Indeed. I didn't see that. Ah, wasn't paying attention. You will be fully healed the next time you are half dead. Huh. Well, that's curious. Let's go up. The more of these we unlock. You are braver than I if you're willing to get involved in a marital dispute. Yeah, no doubt. <laughs> While traveling through a small town, you're accosted by a furious woman who stands who shouts from you at the door of her homestead. You there, you look like you can handle yourself. My husband was supposed to be home hours ago. Instead, he's with his pals drinking away all our coin. They left the spoils from the latest job here. If you go and teach him a lesson, you can take your pick. Sure. Okay. Now here's some with some sense. I would go crack a school myself, but our dragon cow is birthing a litter and might burn the whole place down. A dragon cow? What the, f the hell is that? You find a woman's husband. And his friends. Draw one more. 
Let's join this drinking game. <laughs> Two jacks of dust, huh? <laughs> oh, actually succeeded. You entertain the local tavern folk with their drinking capacity in Tales of Adventure. Got a blessing. I'm sure you are grateful for that. I skipped that again. And I avoided the combat. Alright. Fair enough. Ah, uh, Ratman. Oh, I love Ratman. We are geared to the teeth now, though. In full health. No problem. Why do we have to see the weapon? Let's see what this does. This thing is brutal. You're not swinging at nothing. <laughs> well, I lost half of my health because I'm retarded. Uh, lesson learned. I think I should switch back to the cap of healing. And then move. Alright. Uh, helmet. Cap of healing. Dead man's it's enough to put you off crossing at bridges like this. Surely there's an alternative. An ambush on the tightrope. Less bridge. exposed and vulnerable. Ah, no problem. I just need to get as much health back as possible for fighting the last boss. I say that as I. Thank you, Thor, for uh, finishing my battle for me. I need that easy. Draw two game cards. Hopefully, one of them's health. Plenty of food, I guess. Might as well explore. Traveling mage. Okay. I still have 70 gold, so we can still get something. Let's see what neat things a mage has to offer. What in the hell? Wizardmen take double damage from players' attacks. Oh goodness. Dragon ring. Well, all dragon relics are equipped. The most powerful artifact I've ever seen. Really? Well, equipped. Receive 50% max health and full healing after every combat. Wow. I'm not sure what that means by all dragon relics, but... Press 2 to attack wonderful faster with... Forged of alchemical processes, but given permanent me. shape. I know of nothing like it. Except for you made it. Successful at strike. The longer your combo, the more explosive your reaction. Okay. Do you have any comment on the this power of a prophet. Choose your fate. Okay. When you draw supplies, instead draw two and pick one. I think, since the boss is a lizard man... Inspirational. The silver of dreams given this. material form. Oh, yeah. I am grateful that, if nothing else, you have brought this to my domain. Okay. Get those two things. All right. Nice, nice, nice. So what was my other ring I had? Healer's ring. Whenever a player receives healing, they also get a gold. That's actually not that good. Uh. Oh, I can remember more than one drink. More than one ring. Okay. Gotcha. I think we're good on the... Yeah. Let's go here. Heal the puppies. I have always felt a kinship to the puppy. That's Together we help you forget and also recall. And you both used to make heroin. You wander along the fields of poppies. Too late you realize the poppies are making you sleepy. You wake up groggy and just sore to oh fuck. Why do you do that? Well, I know where the things are. Pass it by. A shop? I don't think we need to go to a shop. Let's get this over with. 
No? You begin to see the nature of the questions we will ask. He reshuffled the map. The past oh, to the future? that's dirty. Is your decision predetermined? All right. Or made in the moment? Oops. Okay. Fire blast. Eat it. Skeletons are so easy now. Not even a challenge. Two game cards. Check my health, so there goes the health I lost. Both and... ways. A little food. Not a great change, but enough to switch oh. the odds a little. I should've just went for the end. Now I gotta fight a shit ton of rats. That's what I get for exploring. Sense of adventure. Ugh. Yeah. I do not like these guys here. There we go. Do them with that fire. The righteous fire. There we go. Look like a real Viking now. Helmet. Awesome. Uh, of course, I find nothing. If you possessed more subtlety, perhaps you could heal such rifts. I'll leave the wife to deal with That's not the so. life you have lived, mind. Whenever your player is healed, you also lose one gold for it. I don't care about that. Doesn't matter at the end of the game. Good to know if she gives you a curse when you leave, though. Chest. I'm gonna leave it. Oh my god. I bet you're thrilled to see Jack again. No, I'm not. It's quite the opposite of what I am to see Jack again. Jack can jack off. Oh. Okay. Any more room? I don't like Jack. One of these two, and I'm down to 52 life. I think what we should do, since we have so much food, equip the helmet of healing. So we heal more. Oops. Go to places we already been. So we heal up every turn. Alright. Now switch back to one that does more damage against uh, lizard men. Potentially fight the last boss. There he is. Now a fight for the ages. I expect greatness. Yes. Greatness you shall have. This lizard man potency allows him to nullify the magical abilities of players' weapons and artifacts. This token will unlock more cards if you can defeat That's this encounter. Not cool. Matches not, peasant. Okay, four lizards. Ooh. So fierce. Does it still work on the other guys? Oh. 
Oh, shit. I like getting in the corner. They all got shields. Take out all these ads. Played. Well played indeed. You have defeated something that I never expected to die. Well, got an upgrade. You got the scepter. Swift feet. You move with great speed. You start adventures with more food. You start equipment has been upgraded again. Ratman strength increased. Bandits and lizardman strength increased. That sounds all swell. The wand represents my will in the purest sense. It is not too late for you to give up now. Go peacefully to your no. fate and leave me to mine. Take you begin you to assemble a credible deck. Let us see what oh, happens these coin next. Things are getting... Skullcap Prophecy, Desert of the Damned. The altar? Marketplace. Blood auction. That sounds intriguing. Ring of Enlightenment, Charity 3. So much charity. Warcry. That could be good. Tavern Wager. So many new events and stuff. It's so cool. Holy Forge. Queen of Skulls, Lizard's Dome? Metal Ore. Last but not least, Hero's Antlers, or Hearn's Antlers, Undead Bane. Very good. Halfway done. Let us continue. For another time, sir. Alright, thank you for watching part four. It was uh, pretty exciting. I enjoyed it. And I hope you enjoyed it as well. And we'll see you in part five.